Hey guys. Have you ever just wanted to... Why is that wobbly? Oh, it's not good, it's not good. We're going to wobbly. Woo, 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 woo. bit of a van tour. Here's my fan and her name is Goldie. She's a 2003 Kia Pregio. I bought her from um, Gumtree from a guy in Mandra actually and I went up there and I, I literally just fell in love with the colour of the vehicle and I wanted something with, with low kilometres. So $7,200 later this car then became ours. Oh, Tonka's hiding under the car. It's a bit hot outside today. So when I first bought the van, it was blowing smoke like you wouldn't believe. So I decided to invest um, a fair bit of money into the motor in getting it all 100% and I also bought some new tires um, and you know overall it's it's been a pretty good investment and a cheap alternative to Tonka in my home. I um, was going to move into a van I did a lot of research and I knew that I needed solar, but because I do um, I camp in the city, I didn't want solar on my roof. And when you're camping in the city, you tend to drive around or move spots every day. So your battery is charging every time you start your car. But when you come out bush and you're wanting to stay out here for a couple of days, I definitely recommend getting some solar panels. Now these ones are from BCF, they're the XDM brand. Um, I found I found them to be really really good. Um, so they're 160 watt and they just come like this with a bag and you just place them quite easily wherever the sun is. And they have these little legs that you just pop out. And then this here and just pops directly into the back of the solar panel and this lead actually goes into your battery which is located within your vehicle wherever that may be so also on here it has I'll oh, just grab the camera it has the um, the charge controller where it shows you how much amps is coming into the actual battery so 13.6 is excellent and it shows that the battery is filling up nicely and also has a USB port so if you want to charge your phone or anything on it like it has those there so sometimes um, it'll tell me it's only 11% or whatever I still put them out even if it's not a very um, sunny day and it still has some form of charging capacity and these ones are actually also waterproof so as far as I know I think I don't know <laughs> they've been in the rain and they're working fine so that's my solar panels and you know like I didn't know very much about any of this stuff and this stuff I've learned along the way and in the van life community if you have any questions ask or put it out there on Instagram and you'll get people just telling you um, you know what it is you need to know so don't be scared so that's the solar panels shade sail is a new addition and it's something that I purchased just purely because when we come out bush um, I just wanted something a little bit extra um, for the dog mainly so he has somewhere to go um, and it seems to be withholding 
the, the wind and that quite well. So I suppose as long as you've got your ropes in the right location, it should be fine. But I just, I picked up the sale from Bunnings and I think that was about 29 or $39. And then I picked up the tent poles. Now these tent poles, they actually um, adjust. So I found it quite hard to find tent poles that they'll, they were only two meters high because most of them are 2.5 so and that's way too high so go to bcf and they actually have the adjustable ones so i can have it up high and then now that the sun has moved i'm going to lower this one down so tonka has a bit more shade but um the ropes i actually you can get them from bcf or from bunnings and they just actually have the adjusters here and then just grab a couple of tent pegs i just grabbed the temp pegs from BCF also they sell them all separately so really like this was a really cheap alternative for me rather than getting an awning so I'm a little bit <laughs> apprehensive about doing the awning myself because it's drilling into the vehicle when I have time I'll go to a proper RV center and I'm going to ask them just to put two hooks on the van so I can hook the sides this side of the shade sail onto the van. I don't want to attach really anything to it because I stay in the city. I just don't want to draw too much attention. Like I think that the air vent up there draws enough attention. lifestyle is because I get to stay in the peace and quiet I get to hear the birds in the morning I get to watch the sunset and the sun rises and let me show you just a little bit of the place that I'm staying at for the next three four five days got back from our walk and there's actually some metal steps 
that go over like a bridge thing where obviously the water cascades and I've just gone ass over to you. <laughs> and I've like just grazed my arm. Look at the bruise coming up already. And my ass is really sore so I can just imagine what colour it's going to be tomorrow. I am so accident prone. So this curtain here, I actually just got from the secondhand store um, in Bindoon, and I just, it was like $3, and I just added in some magnets, which you can just buy from Bunnings, and that just connects onto the car like that. So I use it as a, a fly screen, and then that just opens as a curtain. So my kitchen used to be at the back of my van and now I've moved it at the front of the van. I've just disconnected these solar panels so um, that's the solar lead which I just shove in there. Um, but I changed the kitchen so I could cook in here because it was getting like really really difficult. Do you want to come in sweetie? You can come in. Good boy. Good boy. The ants are like annoying him outside and they're like the little tiny ants and they're getting in his hair and he's getting agitated. So he's in, out, in, out, in. <laughs> anyway. Um, so my kitchen, I had it at the back and I've just moved it to the front um, because when I'm in town and it's raining or I'm staying like in the city, I'm finding it difficult to cook food and I'm yeah um i'm going to actually put um a shelf which pulls out to give me some more space and i'll just pop some curtains on here just to make it look nice and pretty but i've got a, a wanderer a double burner stove top which i use all the time and just some of these little shelves from ikea so so cheap so cheap i've got two of the mini gas bottles um, they are really handy. So I get about six, seven weeks worth of um, gas. And I cook all the time. So my battery and everything is down there. And that is my Telstra internet. And my fridge is plugged in. It also has like the USB port for my phone. And it's also got the connector for the... Um, the solar so my fridge is also an XTM now it is only a fridge um, I wish I had have gotten the fridge freezer but honestly I probably couldn't have fitted it in here anyway so um, it it's it keeps everything really cold and it's so so quiet so I just got these little shelving units from Kmart they were super cheap like $19 for a set and I just want to show you this little fan here too. So I picked this up from one of the camping places. This just has like the cigarette lighter port in it, which is great. I picked up one of these double adapters. And so I can pop that into the battery box and then run the fan and the fridge both at once. These are really, really great. I did buy the, oh, everything's just gonna fall out now. This one is a double lead one, which I bought and it kept coming out all the time. So the fridge kept turning off, it was driving me crazy. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these I have two touch lights, um, one at the front and one at the back, which are great for reading. Not great if you've got your um, your vent open though, because there's all the mosquitoes come in here. Definitely the air vent has been one of the best buys, because um, I get to see the stars at night when I'm lying in bed to go to sleep. So this just turns on by a switch here which is really simple and easy. 
I put the other fan on on the front of the um, at the front there in the kitchen and then that just literally just blows the air straight through it's great it is actually a double bed this is a memory foam mattress which I got from Clark Robber which I highly recommend spend a bit of money on a decent mattress they do have ones the camper van ones which are a bit um not as thick and they're awesome so to make it into a double i have three of these in the center and one at the back and these just pull out and then the wood flips over and then i've got some cushion bits that go in to make it into a double mattress all of my clothes are in these bins here which go underneath the bed. I just picked up from Bunnings. There's Tonka in his little bed there. Isn't he gorgeous? You're so cute, aren't you? You are. So just going into the back of the van. Now I've made these to cover the window and they've just got like magnets on them. So, oh, I've got an ant biting my foot. These just are easy to snap on, but they have like shrunk, so I'm gonna make some more and they're going to be a bit bigger. So this is the back of the van and this is Tonka's little bed in here. So he has his own little space, his extra blankie and his toys. Um, and I carry about 50 liters of water. These 20 liter drums are easier to carry than the big, like square i think they're, they're 40 liters that i found that that was a little bit too heavy for me so it's easier for me to have the two 20 liter ones and a 10 liter one which i keep at the front did my phone just die my phone just died and then i've put in like these anchor points in here at the back and at the front so they're great for um getting the hockey straps and also for tying the dog up so I can leave the door open and I know that the dog isn't going to go anywhere. This cabinet here is just over the wheel arch and it was made out of um, a shelving unit actually that my daughter had made me for my birthday, Christmas combined kind of together and I've actually just used that and it's got my shower in there. Some coils and my hair dryer and stuff like that so that's stuff that I don't need to get to very often because I also use that for a shelf to put like other shoes on that I wear every day and like clothes and stuff that I also wear every day this I'm very proud of because I made it well I made the whole van myself but except the electrical stuff but this took me a little bit to get my head around how to do it so this actually comes out onto a desk so this is where I work on my laptop or eat my food do whatever I need to do and it has made an extra shelf up here and this is just has like all my makeup and other stuff in it so and everything locks away so when we're driving it doesn't come out so that's one of my favorite I'm very proud of this it took me a while. I hope you enjoyed this little video. This might be all over the shot because that's me all over the shot. Um, but I'm happy doing what I do and I enjoy staying in the city sometimes, but then when I've had enough, I just, I need to get out. 
and you meet so many amazing people and everyone you know is they're just happy to meet you so if you're a single female wanting to do something like this I definitely just do it if you have to sell everything that you own it's just stuff you know really if you do the van it doesn't work out what's the worst that could happen you sell the van and start again is that really that bad I don't think so that world's a big house of power, please. Don't run.